Hi, so in this video, I'm going to cover different scenarios when working with client certificates. Now, if we go to this website, badssl.com, there is a client certificate section here. In this client certificate, there is client certificate downloads. So this is the URL that requires client certificate. Uh, otherwise, it will give an error. And these are the certificates. So you can receive a certificate in a PIM file or a cert and a key file or a P12 file or a key store file. Let's download this. We'll download the P12 as well. Now let's go to the downloads folder and let's inspect the files. The password, as you can see, is um, badssl.com. So let's try and first view the contents of this file. We can inspect it by opening git bash. Go to download. In my case, Java is not configured on the path. So I'll call key tool like this. Hyphen list hyphen key store bad SSL P12. The password we know is bad SSL.com. And we can see there is one private key entry over here. So if we want, we can directly use this P12 and the code should connect fine. Let's quickly test this using PKCS12, the P12 that we downloaded. So if you have a P12 and if you want, you can directly use it as is, there is no problem. So if I just paste it here, And then let me copy the name, paste. You can actually give the same key store and trust store in one. And let's just run this. Okay, so we are getting a PKIX, which means that this P12, it has the key required for client cert authentication, but it doesn't have root certs, meaning you see this certificate chain, this thing, the root X1 and R3, the P12 doesn't have this. So we can either add it to the P12, or we can create a separate store, which is trust store, which will have these trusted root and intermediate certificates. So let's do a copy to file, downloads, R3. And then we can do the same for root. So copy to file. Root x1. Okay. So now we have these two certificates. And what we will do is we will import them into a trust store. So you can put it in CA certs as well, but I'm going to create a new store and I'm going to use that one. The reason I normally avoid putting certs in CA certs is because um, if you were to upgrade JDK, uh, there is a chance that you'll forget about these certs. But if these certs are part of your application and are deployed with it, or let's say you are using the key store or trust store, which is called JSSECA certs, then you can 
put it as part of your application but copy it to the jdk jre lib security folder during deployment so it's basically the idea is to remember that you are injecting or providing custom certs uh, but if you put it directly in ca certs there is there is a chance that you might forget what all certs were added because ca certs will already have a large number of certs in it so let's do this key to hyphen import hyphen file r3 dot cert and the key store is i'll just call it trust store the password i'll keep it as a b c d at the rate one two three four c d at the rate one two three four yes we want to trust and add so now we will do the same with the other one which is the root one if you want you can even add an alias uh, that is like a custom name to identify this certificate so we'll say bad ssl root cert a b c d at the root two three four yes so now if i do a list hyphen key store a b c d at the root one two three four so you can see there are two entries now see this is the alias that i gave to identify that it is a bad ssl root cert now in the other one i didn't give a alias so it basically just called it my key which is not intuitive enough so like imagine six months down the line if you are looking at it or if someone else is looking at it they won't know what is this my key so if you want to fix this what you can do is we can say key to hyphen delete hyphen alias my key from key store trust store okay now if we list it you will see there is only one entry so now we can re-import the other one r3 with an alias as bad ssl intermediate r3 Insert. so now if we add it now we do um, so you can see there is a bad ssl intermediate certificate called r3 and then a root certificate so now i'm going to copy this add it to the project and over here i will say trust store and the password is abcd at the red one two three four okay so it works so it connected and got a 200 so the trust store provided the root and intermediate cert and the key store provided the client cert now this is one way of doing it the other way is let's say you received a pem file in java you cannot directly use a pem file you need a cert and a key file but let's say this is the only file you receive so you'll have to first inspect it because then we will have to extract the cert and the key from this file so you can see over here that the file has two parts one is this one and other is this one you can clearly see this is the key so we can extract this and save it as bad ssl client underscore key dot pem and this one is the cert it, it says begin certificate and end certificate so we can say bad ssl client dot crt cer now let's look at it so if i do this we can say it is a certificate now for 
a client certificate you need to make sure that this thing is base 64 encoded now you can copy paste this onto uh, like a website base 64 decoder online and get the results or you can do it on your local just to inspect now i always do it on my local because i don't want to paste my certificate and keys online but let's say if you really wanted to so you will simply look for base 64 decode and then you can paste it the certificate and decode it um let's delete this line delete this line so you can actually see the content now after being decoded so by default when we were extracting the cert like even when i was saving it let me do it again so when i was saving this certificate over here you see this der encoded binary format so by default you will see the certs are like in binary format but so what happens is the basics uh, the der encoded or binary encoded is then base 64 encoded to make it text and that is what is normally placed in the pem file but you can verify it you should after decoding you should see something about the cert obviously these boxes come up because it's a binary file now so you it's like editing a exe on a notepad for example if you want to check this you can also do this without pasting it on a website so the way you do that is so in windows when using git bash so let me copy this certificate there is a thing called slash etc slash clipboard so basically whatever you copy it's actually present there so if i were to say cat any text file and read the file and show the text on the console so if i were to say clash dev slash clipboard it will paste the certificate because that's what i copied so now we will do that and then we will pass the clipboard output to base 64 hyphen d but i also want it to ignore errors so now you can see it did that and it's showing me yeah it, whatever the contents is after base 64 decoding so we can basically do this instead of uh, uh, submitting our data to a website so now that we have verified this that it is a base 64 cert now we have the cert and we have the key so we can then create the p12 ourselves using the cert and the key uh, that we extracted from the pem file so the command to do this is open ssl pkcs12 hyphen export hyphen in key bad ssl underscore client underscore key dot pem hyphen in bad ssl underscore client hyphen dot cert okay and then we want to save it to pad ssl underscore client dot p12 so now you will see it will get stuck here some people get a random state error and in some cases it just gets stuck on uh, git bash so the way to solve this is uh, press ctrl c to come out of it and then add when pty now it is asking for the password the current client key password is what we saw here which is badssl.com okay so there was a copy paste error now it is asking for a password that we will set for the p12 bad ssl bad ssl okay so now we have the p12 okay so now i can say key to list key store which is the p12 file underscore client dot p12 
The password is bad SSL. Okay, so it has one entry, private key entry. So now if we go back to our project, so if I delete it here, and then I, this is the one that we created. So if I copy and paste this here, and then I use this one here, the password is just bad SSL and then run it. So now the last scenario here is where some people might want to keep only one thing. The trust store and key store should be one. It is not a recommended practice, but let's say you really want to do that. So for that, there is one requirement, which is that this bad SSL client.p12 should have the same password as trust store. We will have to import this p12 into the trust store. Now while importing, if we don't change the password to the trust store password, then what will happen is Java will try to access the trust store using this password, but when it will go and try to read this private key entry, it won't be able to access it because password is different. So for that, what we will do is hyphen import key store, which is the source key store, which is bad SSL underscore client dot P12. The source store type is P kcs12 we want to copy all of the contents to destination key store let's call it new bad ssl underscore client dot p12 now obviously if you have the key in the cert file you will just recreate a p12 with that password but let's say you if you only have p12 then you will use this approach the destination store type will be pkcs12 now see it is importing the key store this to that the destination key store password we will have to keep it same as the trust store because we want to import this new bad ssl client into the trust store so it will be abcd at the rate one two three four abcd at the rate one two three four and the source password right now is just bad SSL. So now what we'll do is we'll import this into this. So what we can do, we can copy the location. Mm, there is a space. So now we will say, okay, what we want to do is we want to import, so we want to import key store, uh, which is the new one. So new bad SSL P12. So we'll have to say hyphen source key store, which is this into the destination key store, which is our trust store. The source store, type is pkcs12 the destination keys to password is abcd at the rate one two three four and the source is abcd at the rate one two three four okay the one entry is imported so if we do a list now hyphen key store which is our trust store abcd at the rate one two three four so we'll have a private key entry and then these are the entries which are certs so now if we run this so it connected to the site and worked fine and we are only using our trust store file i've deleted it and now if we run it again it's the same thing because we are using trust store and the p12 is inside the trust store hope this helped thank you for watching